Hey guys, welcome back to Beer Geek Nation. I'm your host, Kritz, and I'm joined once again by Mr. Ben. Hola. And today we have a special guest all the way from the great state of Vermont, and I use great very loosely. We have Mr. Nathan Cornwell here visiting for so his true. first Beer Geek Nation beer review. And this is actually one you picked out for us from the, from the state of Vermont. It is Rock Art Brewing. This is their, see I knew I was going to freaking screw it up. This is their Pumpkin Imperial Spruce Stout coming in at 8%. So uh, with that said, let's get into a glass so you know how it smells, how it tastes, and give you the verdict on Rockars Pumpkin Imperial Spruce Stout. All right, to the appearance in the Rock Art beer here. Um, again, black, 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 black as night. Can't see anything through it. Very, very typical Imperial style looking. Nice little, lacing. Absolutely light, off brown head. A um, little bit of carbonation, not a whole lot of carbonation. Um, there was a pretty aggressive two finger head. You, like you said, lots of lacing. Not getting a lot of the feet, the alcohol. It's very nice. I, it makes me want to drink it. <laughs> <All right. laughs> That's what you do with beer, Ben. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. It, just, it just came, all right, never mind. I'm, I think it's a lot of the spruce I'm getting. Yeah, I'm getting a touch of um, a lot of spruce. No pumpkin. I'm, I'm not well, smelling. I'm pumpkin. getting some earthiness, some You're earthy spice some in there. Yeah, not like it's not like a it's not like pumpkin or Weyerbacher. It's it's a little boozy smelling. Yeah, a lot of breadiness, um, roasted malt. I don't get any coffee or chocolate in it, which I'm kind of surprised by. Are you getting anything? Yet? I'm not getting any coffee or chocolate. I'm just getting sort of a like general a aroma. I don't detect any pumpkin in it. Is there like a sweetness almost? A, a slight bit? sweetness. Yeah. I, I just don't, it doesn't smell like some of the other stouts I've had. It just no, doesn't, it doesn't have that aroma to it. And it's surprising. At 8% I was expecting kind of a bigger Imperial stout to kind of jump out of this one. I guess let's get into the taste on this one because I mean. Let's do know. it. All right, the taste on the Imperial Whoa. Pumpkin Spurs. I'm getting chocolate. I get chocolate. <clears throat> I get. This is gonna sound weird. I'm getting mint. No, I can. I can feel the mint at the end. I'm getting mint. It's I'm the. Getting, it's like the bittering is coming through as mint. I wonder if that's the spruce doing it's it. It's the spruce, yeah. Um, I'm getting chocolate notes. Very, very, very slight coffee notes in there. Um, it's kind of more of an aftertaste thing than anything. There's some bitterness in there. What I'm getting out of it is it. It tastes more like to me what I'd imagine a spruce stout to be. I'm getting very little pumpkin. Yeah. Some pumpkin ales I've had, you know, some pumpkin stuff like Shipyard tastes more like a pumpkin pie. They go out of their way to season it heavily. Other pumpkins, uh, you know, beers like Wool of Ours taste like a pumpkin, just a raw pumpkin. This beer, I'm not getting really either. I, 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 I might have a faint bit of pumpkin, but I'm really tasting the stout in it and, and less of the pumpkin. That, that's my thoughts on yeah, this beer. Yeah, I'm getting mint. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting t like a toothpaste flavor almost. I don't think they're complimentary. I think this is a great beer. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I'm really getting a lot of really smooth chocolate and I taste a little bit of mint and I think that's the spruce. I don't know where the pumpkin is in this beer. They really could just re have released this, like you said, like a, some kind of yeah. If you want a stout a, a, with a good pumpkiny flavor, because you want to get in the fall spirits or something, I wouldn't get this. On. This does not have <laughs> no. a, this does not have any significant but I think, amount you know, of pumpkin flavor. But there's these kind of weird kind of overtones, kind of doing some weird things, some funky things in there. They're not bad, um, but they're kind of strange, and that's the best way to describe them. So the verdict on the Rock Art Brewing, this is their Pumpkin Imperial Spruce Stout, 8% ABV, available now for a limited time. I'm going to give this one like a B minus, B minus C plus. Um, but yeah, I think it's it's a good beer. Um, what would you say? I mean, uh, I'm kind of forgiving. I'm going to give it a B flat. And I say that because I'd give it a B plus, except for the fact that it claims that there's some kind of pumpkin in there. I don't, <laughs> yeah. I don't taste anything pumpkin. <laughs> And I have nothing against that, and uh, no. this is a great beer. I would actually buy this again. I think, I because I'm I'm always seeking out beers that have, uh, like, conifer, like, you know, the spruce. Uh, they do a beer in, what's it, Norway, that has yeah. a beer that's done with, like, pine. And I'm really interested in those beers. I wish they would just release this as, you know, a spruce stout. I would say, you know, as a beer, I would give it a B because it seems like a decent beer, right, fairly smooth, right. no bad taste. 
as a pumpkin beer, yeah. I would be generous to give it a C. I think I, I, I don't. Think I like right. pumpkin beers. I've had a wide variety of them, and I know a good pumpkin beer when I have one, in my opinion. And I don't think that this is very pumpkiny at all. Uh, I'll give it a C plus just because it happens to be a smooth beer with with good flavor and everything. Right. But if you want a pumpkin beer, in my opinion, this is really not it. I I, 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 I give it a C plus, I guess, between a B and a C, and and that's, in my opinion, maybe being generous because there's, no this? there's hardly any. All right. So at the end of the day. B's and C's all around. It's an okay beer. Um, if you've had other pumpkin beers and you want to kind of compare this to others, let us know how it is. Write on the comments. You know, let us know what you guys think. Um, so with that said, remember, my friends, life is too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers. Cheers.